Heather Brent is showing us how this program works. Hi there. Hey, good morning. So we're kind of at the, obviously the beginning of the year where they're still learning a lot of stuff. Earlier we showed you the greenhouse and kind of their little mini crop where they have been growing items. So they're learning all about farm to fork, but here it's farm to school. And a great time to be here because October is National Farm to School Month, which is amazing. Yes. Um, yeah, they're learning all the different knife cuts, and then from that, they're going to be actually making different food items. So today, with the potatoes that they're cutting, they're doing hash browns, and we'll probably do a cream of potato soup. So they learn how to use the whole potato and have no waste. Uh, we've also discussed how to use like the peelings from different vegetables and like soups and stocks, um, so that there's no actual food waste. So that you're using nothing all the goes in the garden. Well, almost nothing goes in the garden. Yeah, almost nothing. Minim yeah. Minimize it as much. Food waste as possible and trying to get as much out of what you do grow because you spent so much time growing the items, you don't want to just throw it away. Yeah, we were talking earlier, a lot of these kids don't even realize. I hate to generalize it, but some of the kids didn't realize that this doesn't just come from the grocery store. It comes from the actual crop. So they're learning a lot of amazing things here. Yeah, um, some of the students in all of my classes don't realize what we can actually grow here in the area and what's seasonal. So we had to talk about like what's a fall vegetable, what's a spring vegetable, what can be grown over the summer, um, just the various things because in the grocery store you can get things year round. And so they didn't realize like, oh, you can't grow a tomato now. It's into the season for that. And so um, what we're doing is out in the garden we have radishes, turnips. Carrots, beets, all those different fall vegetables that we're hoping to be able to start harvesting soon. Our radishes are just about there. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard sometimes as an adult to realize that at one point I did not know how to cut up food. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the basic things that they're learning. Yes, um, this just started. We haven't done knife skills for too many days. It's actually, like, I think, our third. It seems third, like an easy day. concept, but, but you're not. teaching them all different ways to cut it too. Yeah, um, so we're doing some, they're all doing different knife cuts. Um, some are doing diagonals, some are doing um, just a regular diced potato um, or a diced carrot. Um, some are doing julienne. They're just doing whatever they're comfortable with right now, practicing to develop those skills to get comfortable with an, using a knife. And so much fun too. And some of these kids earlier, uh, they had a big request. They love when the reporter tosses back to the anchors. And did you guys want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys ready? All right, hold on. One second, one second. Farm to school, amazing thing. You guys gotta check it out because it's in various schools around Manteca, and we are going to back send it back to you. you. Oh, <laughs> so well done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thanks, Heather. Well, these days, 